Hello again, welcome to John Rogers Talk Show. This is episode number three. And as you can see, we have a Christmas tree today because it's coming very close to Christmas now. So I'd just like to wish you all a very happy Christmas. Now, I hope I've not offended anybody, but I will tell you so this very plainly that God has called me to tell it how it is. God has told me that I need to be honest, brutally honest with people and that it is time for a new breed of preachers to rise up and I'm one of those breed who are going to walk in the glory of God who is going to walk in integrity of God who is going to walk in humility who is going to walk in holiness who is going to walk in truth and that is what I'm choosing to do not my own strength or ability but to just simply walk in the kingdom of God and the glory of God and allow Jesus Christ in me the hope of glory to just live his life through me. And that's why I'm just going to tell it how it is, folks. I'm sorry if I've offended you. But if you can be offended, you need to be offended. Because you need to see the pride in your heart. So you can repent. And, and turn to God. And my, I just want to say, before we start the show, repent. 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 For the kingdom of God is at hand. You know, Jesus is coming back. For those of you watching, you don't know Jesus. You do not want to live another minute without making Jesus your Lord and Saviour. So welcome back to this uh, ep episode 3 of John Rogers Talk Show. Welcome back. But I just want to just touch on that really quickly. That, you know, if you're watching and you don't know Jesus, you need to make him Lord and Saviour of your life right now. Just say to him, Lord, come and be Lord of my life. Come and save me. Come and, and take me. Because you know what? You've been, you don't need to be saved from the devil. You need to be saved from the wrath of God. Because without Jesus, who's that perfect sacrifice, none of us have got any chance. And I'm going to talk more about that so very soon. Because you know what I've got on my heart to share with you on this third program? I've got it on my heart to share. And, and I know a lot of you are thinking, where's these people? The, be patient. I'm going to get awesome people on this program. No, no, not awesome. Only Jesus is awesome. There are no wonderful people. I am not wonderful, in case you think I am. I am not wonderful. I'm nothing. Without Jesus Christ, I'm a big mess. But I'm going to get some men of God on this um, program. Uh, so be patient. and You've got that to look forward to. But for now, I just sense the Lord's just put it on my heart. You know what? I just sense the Lord tell me that I can preach to you. Hallelujah. He's given me an anointing to preach the gospel. Praise God. Now, um, I just before we start, I've got so much I wish I could share with you, but I've got just ten minutes per show. So we're going to do quite a lot more shows. Uh, to, we're not just going to do one a week. I'm going to do more than that because I've just realized it's just not enough time. So we're going to do quite a few shows because the power of God is just wanting to touch people and Jesus is just want to heal you. I tell you, you're going to there's some people going to be healed during these programs. I'm believing the Lord is going to give me words of knowledge uh, just to speak the healing of the Lord to you. But before we do start, um, we've got a book here. I just want to promote. This is my book, um, which um, I just wanted to mention. Um, you know, it's called True Worship. There's a picture of me paragliding on the front there. And uh, it's basically uh, this book, well, as I say on the back here, you know, um, maybe we Christians have been not experiencing true worship. And this book will talk to you and tell you, and this book I will teach you what true worship is and how we can be a true worshipper. Um, please forgive me uh, for the back there. It does say that I'm single uh, on the back. Um, and available. I'm no longer available. I'm married now. Praise God. Hallelujah. At last, I got married after being single for a very, very long time. And believe me, I didn't want to be. Um, I can share more of those things with you. But praise God. God gave me a wife from China. Can you believe in it? I mean, I never even really didn't even know what China was. Really, well, I've never been to China. But I uh, went to L.L. Grange and um, got got uh, a wonderful time there, uh, learning how to cast out demons. Praise God. And my wife um, was there on the same course, so we met there. We became great friends. 
sorry girls, I'm no longer no, I'm joking. Um, so no longer available. But uh, that's my book, it's True Worship. Um, it's only a cheap book. It's it, you know, it's not very long. It's only four pounds. So please get it um, if you really want to. Hallelujah! If you feel inspired to do that. But the only problem is you won't find it in the bookshops. You, you're going to have to contact me, and I'm going to have to get them printed for you as and when I need the orders. Today I just want to start, we're running out of time already, but I really want to talk about one thing, and that is Jesus. You know, last week we talked about the glory of God, and I'm going to be talking more about that, I'm going to be sharing with you more secrets about that. But today I just want to say that we have got to come back to Jesus. We have got to come back to basics, talking about Jesus Christ, because He is everything. And I'm telling you, we do not need theology. We do not need tradition or religion. Religion is the number one enemy of God. Now, there are people who aren't saved from Christians and say, Are you mad? You're religious. I'm telling you, no, I am not religious. You need to be set free from your brainwashing. I'm telling you, there's people out there, if you do not know Jesus, you have been brainwashed. To see, to think that religion is Christianity. Christianity is nothing to do with religion. And I'll tell you something: the Lord wants me to set, just to set the record straight, to 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 get rid of the lies out there. People have been believing lies. Evolution is one. We did not evolve from monkeys. In the beginning, God. Not in the beginning, dirt. Monkeys were not your great-great-grandfather. I'm telling you, it's time to stop believing rubbish. I mean, even, you know, even a child would realise that is rubbish. And now they've proven that God, you know, that, that uh, evolution is rubbish. I mean, we're, we're going to go into that again at some point on the later show. But today I just want to say that Jesus... Jesus, Jesus. That is what we need to be preaching in our churches. We need to be talking and lifting up Jesus, worshipping Jesus, exalting Jesus, magnifying him. And as we talk about Jesus, then his presence is going to come. Do you remember I was talking to you yesterday, last time about the glory? Well, another thing, when we talk about Jesus, the Holy Spirit will manifest. Now, I've been very blessed to have a pastor who talks about Jesus all the time. Uh, Chris Cass of Heaven, Heaven's Gate Church is a man who um, basically all he talks about is Jesus. And it, it's actually wonderful, really, because there's no religion there. He believes in talking about the Lord. He's gonna, I believe he's going to come on the show. I'm praying that he will um, phone me and say God's told him to come on the show because I want to interview him and ask him some questions that he can share with you some secrets about the glory, about Jesus, because that is where it's at. It is time for us to believe the promises in the Word of God about Jesus, that he said, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. There is no other way to the Father but by me. We're running out of time on this show, so I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm going to look forward to seeing you next time. Remember to tune in to John Rogers' talk show. Don't miss it, folks. It's going to be awesome. I mean, we are just warming up here. Um, get some unsaved friends to watch it, because I'm going to just preach the gospel. No watering down, no religious rubbish, no messing about with religion. It's going to be Jesus, praise God, hallelujah. See you next week.